Hi guys, Andrew here. Everybody knows that soft armor can't stop a rifle bullet, right? But what if it could? I got to thinking about under what circumstances soft armor might actually be able to stop a rifle bullet, and I wanted to set up a sort of best case scenario, like the closest thing that you could get, the best chance that you could give soft armor for stopping a rifle bullet. The two things that I could come up with were one, extreme long distance, at some range, eventually the bullet's going slowly enough that the soft armor will stop it. That's hard to test for. So the other thing I thought of is if you placed some object in front of it, like for example a windshield, that might slow down, expand, mangle the bullet enough that the soft armor could catch it. Now, FBI standards for testing ammunition for barrier blindness specifies a distance of 18 inches from the auto glass to the gel block. But we're not going for barrier blindness. We're looking to, to give the best case scenario for the soft armor. And there really isn't a standard for that. So what I did is I measured from the windshield to the headrest in my truck and it was a little over 36 inches. So that's where I set the armor. I fired two different 300 blackout loads. I chose 300 blackout because it's a little on the lower end of the velocity. I used HPR 150 grain jacketed soft point, and I used Remington 125 grain OTFB. I fired it out of an 8 inch AR15.com upper. Let's take a look. There's some bolt fragments in there. All right, so that first one, wall up the shit out of this. Holy shit. They were actually both stopped. Or mostly. Okay, so this is the first one. There's the second one. So that's, that's a fair amount of the bullet right there. That black stuff looks like it's the, yeah, that's the carrier. All right, there's the first one. Okay, there's the second one. All right, so that wasn't conclusive by any means. There wasn't a sharp hole poked through the armor like you would see normally when a rifle bullet just slams right through soft armor. Uh, most of the bullet weight was left behind, but about 20 grains from the 125 grain bullet and about 30 grains from the 150 grain bullet made it through the vest into that water jug. Now it's possible that some of the bullet fragments are still stuck in that vest somewhere because it was a pain getting all of that out of there, but some fragments did make it through the vest. That means that you would have gotten injured, but nowhere near as badly as if that windshield wasn't there in the first place. So I guess the biggest takeaway that we can get here is that Yes, a windshield can make a big difference. If you were behind a windshield on its own and you got hit with that rifle round, you would probably not be alive. 
If you were wearing this soft armor on its own, and you got hit with either of those rifle rounds, you would probably not be alive. But the two together, looks like you have a pretty decent chance of surviving it, and I think that's kind of interesting. If you'd like to see what happens when we test this with 7.62x39 full metal jacket, head on over to my channel. If you think I did something wrong, if you think I missed something, if you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment below. As always, like, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.